This is Wild Chronicles. Stellar sea lions are an impressive combination of blubber, muscle, and driving aggression. But right now, they are in trouble. Their population has declined from more than 300,000 in 1980 to less than 100,000 today. Scientists want to know why these ocean-going giants are disappearing. Where the problem lies is that we have no bodies. And without the bodies, we can't determine why the animals died. So it's a great mystery story, but without a body. And that's one of the hardest ones to solve. Scientists are investigating a hunch that the animals may be ravaged by a virus. Don Calkins and his team from Alaska Fish and Game have come to perform a difficult examination on some very reluctant patients. We're climbing up and down cliffs on rocky islands. They're slippery and wet most of the time. The animals are large and difficult to move around and approach. After darting a female, the team has to move fast. The drugged animal is so helpless, she could drown in a puddle of water. But hoisting 600 pounds of blubber across slippery rock is no easy task. One, two, three. Test after test fails to uncover any disease. But the examinations provide an intriguing clue. Sea lions today appear to weigh less than they did 20 years ago. And there are fewer juveniles, youngsters that have just been weaned. Could the sea lions not be getting enough to eat? A plunge into the sea with Critter Cam, a unique camera developed by National Geographic, shows that juvenile and adult stellar sea lions both feed primarily on a fish known as the walleye pollock. It accounts for more than half their diet. The pollock may be getting harder to find. But it appears to be that there's a lack of prey, lack of small fish that juvenile sea lions would be feeding upon. Another relentless predator is also competing for pollock. Commercial pollock fishing became big business in these waters in the early 70s, right when the sea lion population began its steep decline. For many conservationists, it's an open and shut case. Commercial fishing is depriving the sea lions of precious food. But the fishermen say they're being blamed on scant evidence. And some scientists are looking at other possible contributing factors, such as pollution and changing water temperatures. In a larger sense, their decline indicates that perhaps there's something wrong with this ecosystem. They may be a red flag indicating the system is no longer the natural one in which these animals evolved. Back at the rookery, a young pup fights for life. He's been washed out to sea and is too weak to climb back onto the rocks. gives him a lucky break. 
He's washed ashore, almost too weak to cry for help. His mother hears his call. Although a bull blocks her way, she will not be deterred. It's a sweet moment for mother and pup, a hard-won victory of life over death. But the battle for survival will continue for all of these sea lions as officials search for ways that humans and sea lions can live side by side.